Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will see how to update the book data using the put method. So if you haven't watched the previous video then please watch it. Till the last video, we have completed create, read and delete operations. Let's quickly demo whatever we are going to implement in this video. So here you can see we added one more button for book list so even from this button also you can navigate to the book list page. Let's click on book list button. See here we are navigating to book list page. Now let's click on the edit button of the first record. See here form filled automatically and form heading and button text also changed. Let's change the price and click on the update button. See update messages coming and navigating to book list page. So this functionality we are going to develop in this video. Now let's quickly demo whatever we developed till now. See delete is working fine. See create also is working fine. See here is the newly created record. But here if you see edit is not working, so edit functionality we are going to implement in this video. First let's open all the related file which we are going to modify in this video. Let's increase the font. In the previous video, we created buttons for edit and delete. Now we are going to change from button to link. So let's copy the link from navigation bar file. Now let's paste link before this edit button. Now let's add required changes so this link also looks same as the button. Now let's add button related classes. For to attribute instead of add change it to edit and add id as a suffix. Now remove this button code. Now let's import link also. Let's check now. See the look and feel is exactly same because we added button related CSS for link. Now if we mouse over to edit icon it should show the URL. Let's try. If you observe at bottom left URL is showing and showing different ID. Now we need to add a route for edit also. Let's add changes in app.js file. Let's change the path. So the path will contain ID as a suffix. So for edit case also we are navigating back to book component. Let's try now. So now if we click on edit icon it should navigate back to book form. Let's refresh first. See book form is opening. Even URL also changing. Here is the condition. So when I click on edit icon it should auto fill the form and it should change the book header and button level. Now I hope you understood what we are trying to implement. Let's close this app.js file also. Before going further let's modify this code. So if you remember in the previous video we used children. Now let's remove these children and use directly. See this is also very simple and we don't need to add children when we use this attribute. Code also more readable. Similar changes let's add in book list also. Now we need to remove children from my toast also. So let's open my toast file. Now remove children wherever we are using. So now you understood we can pass the value in component two ways, either directly or using children attribute. Let's check is everything working or not? Let's refresh the page. Let's delete the last record. See deleted successfully. That means whatever changes we did, it is working fine. Now close my toast and book list file.
Now let's add one more button for book list. Let's how to navigate using the button. Instead of the top menu, let's copy this reset button code. Now change this button type from reset to button. And add other simple changes. Now import this FA list also. Let's check button is coming or not. See book list button is coming. Now when I click on this button it should navigate to book list page. Now nothing is happening. Let's see how to achieve this. Let's add on click event for book list button. Let's implement book list function. Now when I click on this book list button then this book list function will call and it will return this props history push. Now the question is what is this props history push in React? So React Router is the part of the history library and keeping track of session history for React Router. So when a component is rendered by React Router, that component passes three different props like location match and history. This history prop comes from the history library. So when we do history.push then it pushes a new entry into the history stack so the user will redirect to another route. I hope you understood the why are we redirecting using these ways. Now let's check it is redirecting or not. See it's working. Let's add a colon at the end of the function. So now we are going to implement edit functionality. Here is the simple difference when we post the book data then book JSON doesn't contain the book ID. But when we update the book data then book JSON contains the book ID as well. Let's modify this book JS code accordingly. Let's add ID also as part of the initial state. Now let's create component did mount function. So if you observe when we click on edit button then in URL after edit book ID also coming. So let's see how to read that book ID. Here is the standard code. Now it's your turn to explain to me how this code will work if you want you can add details in the comment section. Now if this book ID is not null then we will call get function which will give us the book data based on the book ID. Let's see how to call Oxios get method. Here I am handling the error as well. So here if the response is not null then I am preparing the JSON with response. I hope this is clear for you. Ok this is done. Now instead of putting everything inside this function, let's create a CPR function. Function name let's say find a book by ID. Now move this code. And call this function from this if block. Now let's check form is autofilling or not. See the form is autofilling. Now let's add other simple changes like button level and card header also should modify when I click on the edit icon. Let's add a simple condition based on book ID. See it is simple, let's check is it working or not? See it is working. Now let's change submit to save. Add similar kind of condition for card header also.
Add a similar condition for icon also. Let's check now, is everything working or not? See it is working. Now let's add code for update the book. Here also on submit function add similar kind of condition. So if there's an ID then it should call update book method otherwise it should call submit book method. Now let's implement update book function. This function also similar to submit a book, only change here is related to ID and instead of post will call put method. Let's implement the changes. One more thing after the update successfully navigate back to book list page. That's it. Let's try now is update working or not? Let's change the price. See it is working. Price value changed from 2907 to 3000. Let's edit some more record. Now the only thing is toast message also should change so when I update it should come as book updated successfully. Let's try to add similar ID related condition for this message also. Let's check is it working or not? See it is not working still giving the same saved message. So let's try in some other way. So instead of this way let's add one more parameter as part of the state. So along with show false add one more parameter. Parameter name let's say the method. Now instead of id let's change it to method. Let's try now. See it is working fine. See both the message is coming correctly. Now let's review whatever we add till now. I checked in my changes to git, I will show you from where you can find these. Open our github page. See here is the repository. See here are the changes. That's it for this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.